listen to this track, bitch. Girl, the way you're moving, yeah. you got me in yeah. a trance. Yeah. DJ, turn me up. Yeah. Ladies, this yeah. your jam. Yeah. I'ma sip my scatter. Yeah. Yeah. You gon' move my pants. Yeah. I'ma throw this money. Yeah. Why you do it with no hands? Yeah. Hey guys, WH Tech 92 and I'm going to be giving you um, your first weekly video. So, today I'm going to show you um, how to make a Wiimote touch screen. The first thing you guys are going to need is a Bluetooth adapter, a Wii remote, a computer, a infrared LED light pen. You can make one of these yourself or you can buy one online. It's cheaper to make one yourself, but you know, do whatever you want. And uh, you're going to need a program called Smoothboard. This is actually a modification of, well, not really a modification, but um, something like Johnny Lee's um, Wii Whiteboard. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Smoothboard. And since this is not a registered version, I'll have to wait a little bit. And we're waiting. Okay, button popped up. And there it goes. Okay, now I want to press the 1 and the 2 button at the same time. Until the Wii Remote starts flashing. And it's going to say... I can't really focus on that. But it says installing driver software. Smoothboard is connecting. Okay, got to press it again because it shut off. Um, okay, loading application. And we're good. Now once it does this, you should just get the first light. Okay, so now we're gonna put this on a stand. I just like got a cup with duct tape. And we're gonna point it at the screen. Now, the Wii Remote has a viewing angle of 45 degrees. And so you wanna get it far enough back that it can have an area of the full screen. Now, this is the program and we don't want this thing over here okay well it's not doing that okay there we go we got it off now we're gonna go say I don't know if you got yeah you guys can't see this sorry I'll be getting a new camera with this this one isn't the best um, it says quick calibration, or you can press the A button on the Wii Remote. You can click that, and it comes to this screen. Now, with your LED light pen, you can do a four-point calibration. See, it won't. I gotta get the Wii back far enough. Okay. And restart that. Okay, there's one. There's two. Okay. Why isn't that working? Okay. Um. 
I'm gonna pause this video. I'm gonna move my laptop so I can get a more better range, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. I'm in a better location now. Um, we're gonna do the calibration again. Gonna. Okay. Okay. Good. And good. Okay. So now, see, this is our viewing thing. Like, that's the Wii Remote's perspective. Now, you can use this as a mouse. If you guys can see that. There. Now, if we hold down, you get a circle like this. And let's see. We'll go to here. Let's say white screen. Then you get a white screen where you can draw. W H Tech. Crap. Messed up my C. So, yeah, this is proof that uh, Johnny Lee's um, Wiimote whiteboard technique works, even with an LCD screen. I'm using this on my laptop, and, well, that's your weekly video.